There is no doubt now in the scientific community that global warming is actually happening. There are several lines of evidence. Global temperatures have increased by about one degree in the last 100 years. Glaciers all over the world are actually melting. Sea level has grown by about 25 centimeters. The temperature of the troposphere, the lower part of the atmosphere, is increasing at the same rate as the surface temperature. Essentially, just to have an idea of what is happening now, is uh, we are kind of going back to the climate of the dinosaurs. The temperature of the Earth was more than six degrees higher than today, and there was much more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Then this carbon dioxide uh, was absorbed by the plants, and then the plants were buried in the soil, and eventually this became oil and uh, coal. And now we are putting back in the atmosphere, of course in much shorter time than it took for this carbon dioxide to be buried. Uh, this happened in the past, in the course of millions of years. Now we risk of doing this in a hundred years. So essentially we need a decarbonization of the energy system. So greater energy efficiency and the move to renewable energies. The target of this project that we have with uh, Enel is essentially to provide a series of climate scenarios. In other words, how can climate change over certain regions of interest to Enel? In particular, we will focus on some European areas, Italy and Spain, and uh, South America. And then uh, Enel will use this information to see how this might affect, of course, their activities in these countries. Another target of uh, this project we have with Enel is to improve the communication of the problems related to global warming. Unfortunately today, um, this information is often not very balanced. The real problem is that if nothing is done, climate will be very different. And human society will have to adapt to a very, very different climate. And if the climate is too different, it will be very difficult to adapt. So we need to keep global warming within a manageable limit. So we hope that also through this project we can send this clear message to as many people as possible.